previous lecture, we saw how to create a bucket and upload files in that bucket. Now in this one, we'll be exploring how we can upload images when we are creating a new event. So here you see this choose file option. And over here we have our bucket with an ID. The first thing that we need is the bucket ID. So let's copy this and head over to our code. Over here in our env local file, we'll be making use of this bucket ID and paste it over here as events bucket images ID. Now we have our bucket ID in our local environment file. The next thing that we need to do is head over to appwrite.tsx file and over here we'll be updating our appwrite instance and it will now include storage as well. So we have client, database and storage. Now for storage we'll be creating a constant just like we created it for database. So here we have our storage now and the next thing that we need to do is go to our events.typescript file. Now in our event.typescript file, where we are creating this map to document event function at the bottom, here you can see we had ID, name, location, date. Now we'll also include a couple of things that's related with the image. And we have the image height image file id and image width so these are the three things that we have included now over here and as you can see it's throwing this error message and the reason behind it because the event model needs it too so let's go to our event model and here in our event model file we'll be including these attributes so after date, here we have image file ID as a string, height and width as numbers. Now, if I go back to our event, you see that error message is gone. The next thing that we need to do is create a new file. And this file will be called as storage. So let's create one and name it as storage.ts file. And within this file, we'll be first of all, importing ID from AppWrite and then we'll be storing the storage from lib AppWrite. After this, we'll be creating two functions. One is for uploading files and the other one is for previewing the image. So to upload file, we'll be creating asynchronous function and we call it as upload file, which is going to have one parameter of type file. And here we are making use of storage.create file method provided by AppWrite. And it is going to accept the bucket images ID that we created in our env.local file over here. And that's what we are passing over here. And then using the ID, we are creating a unique ID for that particular file that will be uploaded and then we are returning the data. Now, in order to preview the file, we'll again create another function. And here, again, we are passing the events bucket ID and the file ID. So file ID over here is a string. Now, our storage file is done. The next thing that we need to do is head over to our pages, event ID.tsx, because here, when we are viewing the detail, of an event, image is also part of it. Now, to include preview of the image, we'll be making use of the get preview image by ID that we just now created in our storage. So here, we'll be including that, and then we'll be creating this image URL, which is going to return the image file ID, and then we have this get preview image by ID, which is going to return the image URL from AppWrite. Now, we'll also create this image variable, which is going to take this image URL and it will set the height and width of that image. 
this is the alt text you, you can put some meaningful value if you feel like right now i'm leaving it as blank now within the use effect method that we have over here we'll be uncommenting this section now and what we will do now is over here we will be setting the width and height to the actual width and height that we have received so here we'll be setting it like this and then we have the src attribute which will be set as the url of the image and that's going to be of type string and then alt that we have will be set as image dot alt now once that's done we'll be saving this particular file and we'll be heading over to our new file now this is when we are creating a new event so we are entering the name the date location and the image related to that event so here you'll notice that we are making use of a wrapper class called input file and this basically the storage class that we have created and here we have this basically will make use of the upload file functionality so the first thing that we need to do in this file is over here on top we'll be importing our upload file from lib storage or we can just take it from here and put it over here so that everything is grouped accordingly and now we'll be creating one event image interface so let's do that over here now in this we'll have the height as number and we'll have file as file itself and then we'll be including width over here as number so here we have created this interface now the next thing that we need to do is in our even new method we'll be creating another get and setter so this is going to be for images so we'll say const image then we'll have set image and we'll be making use of use state and we'll be providing this interface that we have now the next thing that we need to do is if i show you the input file over here so this input file basically expects image and whenever an image is provided to this input file wrapper a change event will occur we need to capture that change event so here you can see that on change we have the on change event associated now if i go to new tsx file over here in our even new we'll be creating on change event for the same and this is going to basically provide me the image url by retrieving the file that was uploaded so here we have our handle on change event and this is going to take this html input element as input parameter here we'll be having the event or target and then we are fetching the files now over here you'll see that we are taking the first file into account and we are uploading it so we are having one file per event so here we are creating the image type and then we are saying on load set the image with the height the file and the width now once that's done we are setting the image src and we are creating the object url next what we need to do is when the form is submitted that's handle on submit in that case we will be finding out whether the user has uploaded the file or not and if they have uploaded the file then we will make use of the upload file method and accordingly we'll upload that file and that is something that we'll do just before calling the create event so here we'll say if there is a file let's upload that file and wait for it now once we have the file uploaded the next thing that we can do is provide the file id height and width so here when we are creating the event we can just go ahead and provide these additional data points so we get the id from the file itself 
then we have the images height and width now after that user will be redirected to the new page so over here what is missing basically if you go down and see this input file right now we have not specified the on change attribute with this input so here we'll be providing that and let's save this after this we'll also have to include the get preview images by id method and that we will be doing on the index page because index page basically serves all the events that we have so here under pages we'll be going to index.tsx file and we'll be including the get preview image by id method over here after that if you scroll down earlier we commented this image thing now what we'll do is we'll be setting this image with proper values so here we'll be having the image url height and width the location is obviously coming up over here and the image url will be retrieved using the event.image file id attribute and it will be assigned to this variable which we are using over here and once that's done the only thing remaining now is going over here under settings and ensuring that we have permission set for role any so here we'll be setting it as any and then create and read these are the two permissions that we'll be adding to our storage once that's done let's go back over here try creating a new event so here what we have done is we have filled in the event name date event location and we have selected a file which you can see over here and click on submit and here you can see the title date location and the image that we uploaded if i take you to the events database here you'll notice that we also included these new attributes image file id height and width and now if i go back to documents you will be seeing the recently created name over here and some of the data that we have there are three columns that is being shown over here and you have filters where you can apply logic to filter this record set coming on to the storage dashboard here if i go now and click on the bucket images you'll see the image that we just now uploaded is coming up over here and that's what we are showing on our page as well 